going to try to do this as fast as possible. This video is, and I'm going to my notes where I made a few bullets, um, this is going to be scattered thoughts about the three body problem. Um, so I originally started listening to it in 2019 and it blew my mind. And this is going to sound a bit absurd, but I consider it kind of a new Bible because of how fundamentally important the information in it is. Um, and a lot of the information isn't given directly to you. It's the kind of thing that you have to tease out over a long period of time to try to understand, or at least that's been my experience with it. Um, okay, one aspect of it is that it's uh, there's the matter of taste, that it's the kind of thing that certainly not everyone is going to enjoy. Bookpilled described it as being like reading a dissertation, and he despises the prose and the characters in it. I had a very different experience with it, where um, it might it might be because of the fact that I listened to audiobooks of it, rather than reading the actual text on paper, but I... I really enjoyed it as well as thought it was useful. But those are distinct things. Um, and I recognize that I have unconventional tastes in a lot of ways. And, um, okay, the next thing, um, well, I guess it's kind of related, is that it, it describes a new morality. So morality is the kind of thing that would be difficult to define in a useful way in such a short video right now. But generally speaking, you can think of it uh, in part as a strategy to produce desirable results in a social context. So um, in uh, a lot of the time in traditional morality, that morality is rooted to the context in which it has arisen. And it can be very useful in that context, but then when you go on to another context, it can have disastrous results. And there's a principle in evolutionary biology, which is uh, the idea, it's contextualism, the idea that the value of a trait is relative to the context in which it arises. And three, the Three Body series explores that concept in very useful ways. Uh, the next idea, um, so uh, the three-body problem integrates many different themes, and um, two of them that I wrote down are evolution and economics. So I don't have, I don't really have any background in economics. Um, in the past month at work, I've been listening to Basic Economics by Thomas Sowell. I'm about two-thirds of the way through it, and I noticed a lot of concepts that, that uh, from uh, basic economics that I that I uh, recognize in the three-body problem. Uh, one aspect of it is the idea of uh, prices being representations of the relationship between supply and demand, and how um, and how. The, one of the difficulties with creating a centrally planned economy is the fact that the people at the top can't possibly know how much of how much of any given product out of the millions of products in an economy they can't know how much every individual business entity needs in order to produce what is desired or needed in the economy and so prices are a type of distributed information storage mechanism and that reminded me a lot of the trisolarans because it describes how an individual trisolaran is not really that smart but as a collective they can uh, make incredibly complex calculate or they can produce incredibly complex calculations and such um, and uh, that's another that's a, another big theme in the series of uh, comparing comparing different styles of uh, economy or society. Um, there's the broad theme of communism versus capitalism. Uh, and there's also a bit of a yin-yang structure where 
and I can't think of examples off the top of my head, but where you can find pieces of the of the opposing society in in each other. Um, the the next aspect of it is that it is peak sci-fi, and the way that I roughly define hard, at least hard sci-fi, as is a change in a social context produced by some novel mechanism, and uh, it accomplished that brilliantly with the Sophon, partly because um, the way that it's differentiated from fantasy, maybe something like hard fantasy, is that is that it actually goes into detail about what the mechanism is, and um, so I guess that's the whole thing. Uh, I think the maybe the last or one of the last things I'll mention is the Lagrange point meta parable, where in the third book uh, there's uh, well you know what it is if you've read the books, but anyway there's a meeting between two characters and and one of the characters has to is trying to communicate information, but because he's being monitored by the Sophons or by the Trisolarans, he has to encode that information into parables. And based on a lot of factors, you can view that as the author. The author lives in a communist society and has to disguise certain messages in his communication with, uh, I guess, the broader world or something like that. And um, there's the thing about how uh, the author of the three-body problem has come out in support of the Uyghur concentration camps. Um, and I view it as uh, very similar to Orson Scott Card, where, where Sashin and Orson uh, I guess make public statements or whatever, but you have to keep in mind the social context that they're operating within, where um, they have to deal with these kinds of authoritarian structures and the consequences for not adhering to those values, at least in terms of their personal practice, are severe. But when you look when you look at the things that they write and think about them and derive different con different um, concepts from them you see that it's, at least in part, very different from the things that they say explicitly in their real life. And and especially in Orson's work, he talks a lot about, a lot about uh, I don't know, different kinds of political games and, and disguising things um, for pragmatic purposes. Okay, um, I think I gave some good scattered thoughts and um i really st i've been wanting to make uh all sorts of videos for a very long time and i i really struggle with getting anything done so uh, like i mentioned in my previous video i am taking a pragmatic approach where even though it's incredibly difficult for me to accept putting something out that's subpar i'm having the approach that I'm going to make it and put it out in a shitty form anyway because that's the only way that I'm going to hopefully eventually get to the point where I'm actually making good things. Okay, bye.